And the Voice of Russia also interviewed Dr. Florence Eid, chief economist of Arabia Monitor, London-based economic research and strategy firm. Uh, she's now in Istanbul, and she says that what's going on in Turkey will have no impact on the neighboring countries. It's important to remember that what is going on in Turkey is partly the normal course of what you see in any democracy, which is that people are demonstrating in order to see policy change, which is perfectly legitimate. But also, obviously, the reason why Turkey is attracting a lot of attention in the media is because part of what's going on is influenced by other demonstrations that have taken place over the course of the past two years uh, in the surrounding region, in the Arab countries, and which have led to what people uh, have called the Arab Spring or the Arab Revolt or the Arab Revolution. So there is a heightened concern and heightened interest in Turkey because of events that have taken place around Turkey. But it's important to remember that some of these events have also taken place For example, in the United States, where you had you know, a movement that occupied some um, parts of, of, of New York calling for change. So in order to put this in larger context, it's, uh, I think, important to remember that in the world today, calls for change from average citizens have become louder and better organized and better orchestrated than they used to be in the past. And governments have to respond to these. But for the time being, it's, this is a domestic issue that Turkey has to Uh, contend with. In terms of the impact of what's going on in Turkey uh, uh, on neighboring countries, I think jury is out with respect to how the government is going to deal with what's going on in, in the country. The prime minister is back in the country as of last night, and uh, we will see over the next uh, couple of days how events will unfold. Turkey you know, is influenced by surrounding countries at this stage, but these demonstrations in Turkey will not have impact on the surrounding countries because the surrounding countries have already been impacted by, by what's going on. Obviously, there are countries where policy change is desirable and where we've not seen it take place yet. And, and these are the countries that are probably watching carefully what goes on in Turkey. And Florence Seed also told us that uh, she doesn't believe these protests are likely to grow into a civil war. It, obviously, it's difficult to determine today how things will proceed over the next few days. Uh, but this is part and parcel of, of managing a democracy. In a democracy, leaders come and go and citizens ask for change and, and change has to be delivered. This is not about a civil war. This is about a conflict between the current government and, and some opponents of the government who are not sufficiently numerous for them to uh, start a civil war in Turkey. So we're not we're not at all close to a civil war in Turkey. What we are close to is... Uh, a policy change uh, within the country. It was Dr. Florence Eid, chief economist of Arabia Monitor, the London-based economic research and strategy firm. She's now in Istanbul, uh, following the latest events there as well. You're tuned to The Voice of Russia, and up next is uh, which cities are the most expensive in the world for expats? Don't go away.